hello guys welcome back to our channel we have a two in one news to give you and it's quite an interesting one as um uh, madinam the colonel has spoken again against them governor yes wiki over the issue of the obibo's uh, situation very 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 serious situation as we speak right now and also the fact that uh, governor yes wiki have said something very key and is actually mentioning names of someone he believes is actually behind all the saga. But before we go into the news proper and further analysis, we'd like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Beside it, you see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. Well, Mazen Amdekano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, on Monday said Governor Yeson Wiko River State won't escape the judgment of God. And the people over the killings in Obibo, Oyibo area of the state. Kanu said those who lost their loved ones in Obibo or Oyibo were determined to unleash vengeance on Wiki, his children, and the collaborators. The IPOB leader disclosed this while accusing Wiki of ordering the murder of Obibo residents, Oyibo the residents, he made a claim in a statement he personally signed. According to Kano, everybody that has a hand in the ongoing Oyibo genocide must know that vengeance is coming. It is not a matter of if but when. And when it does come, apologists of Wiki and the army must remember what happened at Oyibo. There were riots and disturbances all over Nigeria. Nigerian army and police have killed and continue to kill hundreds of young people and in retaliation young people attacked police stations. To single out the inhabitants of Oyibo for extermination is a vicious and evil undertaking and a calculated attempt by Wiki to please his Fulani masters and Britain that tried but failed to exterminate the Igbo race between 1966 to 1970. Oyibo will not die. That's Obibo. The Trevor one there. Sometimes it's known either Obibo or Oyibo. Let's continue. It shall rise again because the blood of the innocent is crying out for revenge. Vengeance is coming and with it the judgment of God. Those children in Obibo murdered by Wiki have nephews, cousins who are so embittered to the point that they can no longer be controlled. I feel sorry for Wiki his children, and all collaborators in this brutal genocide. As Nigeria have not mourned those being put to the sword by Wiki and Nigerian army in Obibo, they must remember not to mourn Wiki and his allies when the table if inevitably turns. Twist the narrative all you like. Nobody can stop the hand of time. When the rain begins to fall, remember I warned you. I will not write, neither will I comment on this issue again. Whew. Okay, now let's go back to what um what um Wiki Governor Yeson Wiki said uh concerning the same issue that is going on in River State, also on this same Obibo massacre. Now the River State Governor Yeson Wiki has accused uh, the Minister of Transport Rotimi Amechi of sponsoring an alleged smear media campaign against him over the issue of the alleged massacre of members of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB in Oyibo local government area of the state. Governor M Wike made the claim while speaking on Monday during a live special interview on AIT on the fallout of the NSAS protest and the report of mass killings of IPOB members in Oyibo. The governor claimed that Amechi is disturbed by his rising political profile, hence the alleged smear media me, hence the alleged smear media campaign. Wiki emphasized that he has no regrets for his proclamation against IPOB and their activities in River State, adding that the criminal group has formed dangerous cells in Oyibo by hoisting flags in certain communities. According to him, I know where all this is coming from. They think they can sponsor all sorts of rubbish against me. I know it is coming from the Minister of Transportation. Why will he, that's Amichi, not do that? He thinks that I'm rising politically and he's doing everything to bring me down. Everybody knows that it is not hidden. I cannot change my identity. 
I have a good relationship with the Ndibos. And if the presidency is zoned to the southeast, I will support them very well. But that is not for me to say that I am from that area. I am not from there. Wiki says the president directed his ministers to go to their state to ascertain the level of destruction. I have not heard from my own minister. We don't even know when he would. The River State Governor also said he has received threats from certain individuals over the incident at Oyibo. You can't imagine the volume of destruction caused by these IPOB criminals. They killed three police officers, they killed six soldiers. They burnt all the police stations in Oyibo. Oh my God. They burnt our courts and they were taking over some of our communities. And you said we should sit and watch them continuously? We won't allow that. They have been sending test messages threatening me that they would deal with, they would deal with me when they see me. I told them I am not equally mad that they embarrassed in Germany. I dare anybody to try it. I will go around the street of Europe without looking back, Wiki said. On the alleged massacre in Oyibo, Governor Wiki said the reports will be investigated, adding that a meeting has been called with the State Security Council to review the activities in Oyibo and in other places. Now, this is another game entirely. Now, this is two in one news. The first one is the fact that Mazen Nabdekano says... Um, there will be a time of reckoning, a time of vengeance. That the people that uh, were killed in Uyibo or Ubibo uh, have cousins, they have um, parents, they have siblings, they have nephews, they have relatives which, who are waiting seriously to take their pound of flesh and to take vengeance. Investigations need to be carried out so that we do not incite, um, incite war. I said that we do not get to point accusing fingers to the wrong set of persons. Of a truth, there was an entire pro protest that went around the whole Nigeria, <laughs> southern states majorly, actually. And that southern state, a lot of states, a lot of um, government infrastructures were actually raised down. Lagos is one of them, Kwashiva, Edo. In fact, Edo had to release, there were some criminal elements that were released during that period. Okay. Fast tracked. Now, investigation was found, according to uh, what Governor Yusufiki said, found out that it took a different dimension. Uh, for some of us, I was privileged to listen to one or two of the uh, audio tapes that was made public the, or live broadcast on the Mazenam de Kanu's whatever, uh, um, um, live uh, broadcast. And a lot was said. You know, we, Sometimes we do not know the power of our words until it goes viral. All right. Now, along the line, yes, everybody was angry. Everybody were angry and sad here and there. It went, it went a step further. Now, just to bring down, according to what um, 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 Governor Yusufiki said, he said, based on the investigation, he found that there were, it was, there were more to the protest than what meets the eyes. I do not want to go into the details. Right now, let's fast track now. We're going to merge all together. Let's fast track down now to what um, Governor Yusufiki said about the transportation minister, that is Siruti Miyamichi. Don't forget, during the Edo, um, Edo Nubi Lagos, Edo, Edo State political um, uh, gubernatorial elections, of a truth, the profile of um, Governor Yusufiki really rose. In fact, he was adored, he was seen as. Um, a, the man of the people, a man when he goes anywhere, he delivers, a man of his words. He went, he promised delivering by the grace of God. He spoiled of the people of Edo. Edo wanted a change and they got the change they wanted and they voted back in the governor of, um, or governor of Edo, so that's a basically incumbent. Now his profile truly rose. In fact, Rivers people fell in love with him. Even the IPOB we are talking about also fell in love with Governor Yusuf Week in that period. But along the line, I really do not know what happened. All of a sudden, IPOB this, IPOB that. And now, there's another threat now where they're saying, and he has said that he is not scared. He's going to walk through the streets of Europe or whatever in diaspora, whatever the international community is going to, and he's not going to look back. They should not even dare what they did to a quarry model. 
because there have been threats and counter threats that when it comes down to Europe, they will deal mercilessly with him. And there was actually a hundred million bounty made on his head by Mazin Amdekano. I guess it must, be, it must have been said out of anger, but whatever the case is, I think we should just, you know, pipe it down, let investigations be done, and let the people who are behind all this be brought to book. Let sleeping dog like let's not lose more lives. Please, I pray. I pray all of you, please. Let's begin to do the right thing. Let's not instigate. Well, Mazin Namdekado said he's not going to speak about it again. Let's see how it plays. And let's meet in our comment section. Please, no hate words. What's a take on what Mazin Namdekado is saying? What's a take on what uh, Governor Yusuke is saying? That all this whole propaganda is allegedly from the transportation minister, Rutumi Amechi, that wants to bring down his profile and jam his head with those he loves.